All right, everyone, and welcome to another video vlog on the channel and possibly the last one of the season tonight uh, with work commitments going the next couple of weeks and the fixtures coming uh, to an end. But looking at the tonight's game, and tonight we're down at the hub for Jarrah versus Yarm. Uh, Cratton game it should be. We're looking at both sides now in Jarrah uh, after going five games unbeaten in March, some great wins, but now three games without a win, and we're looking for a massive uh, win tonight to try and get in that top 10 to finish the season um, on a high. Last game out, 3 0 loss against Easton. Obviously, now pushing for the playoffs, so obviously in the playoffs, sorry, Easton. Uh, so that was a great win for them. But I know they'll be looking to get the three points, like you see, again, that top 10 tonight. But the wayside yarm, it's a massive, massive couple of weeks now. Two games left, must win both games to get those playoffs. And I'll be very happy with how the season's gone with the first year in the Northern League. But they'll be hungry to get them two wins to get them playoffs. It'll be a massive, massive achievement for the club. And like you say, that uh, since the 5-1 loss against the Uni, um, played 12 games, only lost one, drawn four and seven cracking wins, including last week the Chesley Street Town 3-1 win as well. And like you say, massive game for both sides. Both uh, One team going for playoffs, one going for top 10. So it should be a cracking game. Hope to catch up with some managers, possibly some players tonight, and also hopefully catch a few goals on camera because I'm really looking forward to tonight's game. I think there'll be a few goals uh, as well. But thank you for watching. Please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Here we are, Kennedy before the match. Uh, five games uh, unbeaten in March, some great wins. Now three games unbeaten. Just want to get, try and get the wins back now. Yeah, that's it. Um, we said to the lads uh, probably about six, seven games ago, we wanted to, to end the season on a, on a high as much as we can. Um, at, the, at that point, playoffs were mathematically uh, possible as well. So there was obviously big goals and big aims still there to do then. Um, obviously, that's out the window now, but two games left. We just want to, like I say, finish on a high, give the give up us uh, something to be proud of to finish off the season and uh, the fans as well. Yeah, I think if we support a few managers, I think it's just hats off to the players turn up literally a game every other night at the minute and the tired legs. It's, it's hats off to this, what the season's been like, hasn't it? Oh, 100%. It's, I think it's, um, it's one of them where you, you never know if your games are going to be on. That's been the hardest part. I think just before Christmas we played was it 16 over 16 weeks I think we played five games or something daft like that and it's, it's I, I know everyone was in the same boat I said, but it, it did actually hit us really hard at the, that time as well so it's fair play to the lads uh, sticking by it and, and obviously sticking right till the end of the season I suppose yeah, Last time our 3-0 uh, lost against the season what was your thoughts on that game? I th to be fair I thought well, it was a sloppy goal that we conceded in the first the first goal um, but for about 80 minutes or so I thought we were, we were quite uh, steady we were we had a game plan of setting up a bit defensively and hitting them on a counter and we, we got, got a couple of chances with that um, and just unfortunately the last five minutes we kind of crumbled I think the, the tiredness of the legs of playing Monday, Wednesday, Saturday for the last few weeks now it's, it's a massive thing for them um, so it was a bit of a shame coming in 3-0 I don't think it was a 3-0 in terms of the whole game overall but um, it's one of them they're, they're, they're a very good team they're, they're in the playoffs for a reason so they, they're never going to stop till that final whistle so fair play to them yeah and sitting 12th at the minute but like you say still to finish in that top 10 I think that would just top the season off getting into that top 10 wouldn't it oh yeah it, but for me it was when we came in we, we, our target was one beat, beat, the, beat the, the position where they finished last season that was straight away a major thing um, we didn't want to be in a dog fight at, the, at this point of the season um, and obviously our goals were, 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 were to be as high as possible and I think if you can finish in the top 10 in your first season I think especially with basically a rebuild squad as well I think we've, we've done uh, very well as well Yeah, there's not many games with too much to play for in the season but you're looking tonight yourself going for top 10 and y'all having to win the last two yeah. games seen. there should be a cracking game shouldn't it? It should be well, that's what you said the boys before us that's, that's it They've, we want to try and well obviously not spoil their party as such as we don't want any teams not to be in playoffs but it, they've got something to play for and we, we, we just want to finish the season on a high so unfortunately if we do stop stop them going in the playoffs and we've got a good result then that's, that's our job done Except, no, Thank you for your time, hope you enjoyed the game Thank you mate. Good. 
Here we are with Cameron before the game. Uh, massive two games, obviously, for you. I'm coming up Jarrett and Eshwinden. Uh, are you feeling the pressure or is it just go out there and try and get both games won? Uh, nah, I'd say the pressure's off. Like we say, it's our first season at this level. We've, we've done really well to get where we are. Obviously, it's between us and Harden for that last spot. Harden have the points on the board. Um, so, yeah, what will be will be. I think we've just got to go out and enjoy ourselves for the last two games and see where we end up, I think, really. Yeah, I think form's massive. And since the 5-1 loss to uni, 12 games, only lost one, drawn four and seven wins. And that, it's going well this season, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've, we've come into form at the right time, which I think if you're pushing for the playoffs, there's always one team that makes that little break in right at the end. So we've come into form at the right time. We started the season a bit slow. Um, but we've picked up as we've gone on and we haven't really been beaten that many times in a row and we, we've strung together like seven, eight games where we've we've either drawn or won. So, yeah, we've come to form at the right time, which is just what we needed actually for the playoffs. Yeah, and a tasty 3-1 win against uh, Chester Street uh, last time out 3-1. What was your, your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it was a tough <laughs> place to go. I mean, we, we knew it was a massive game, but I think it was a bigger game for them than it was us. We just knew we had to get the, the three points and obviously we, we went 1-0 down after two minutes. But we did well. We, we got three goals in the end and it was a feisty game all round. But it was one, I think, you, it's what you play football for. You play for, for big games like that. Um, but yeah, Chester were a canny team. But it was just nice to be on the, the right side of a result like that for once. Yeah, and Jarrett and Knights, obviously, they're still going for top 10 as well. Should be a great team for them and yourself and either two wins. It should be a cracking game, though, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's all set up for a good one. We, we played them earlier in the season and won 1 0, and it was a like quite a tough game. So, like you say, they've still got something to play for. We've still got something to play for. So, should have the makings of a good game. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. Cheers, mate. Have a good game, lads.
half time, Jarrah nil, Yarm one. Oh, 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 
Full time, Jara one, Yarm one. So it's full time here down the hub, and it's Jara one, Yarm one. Fantastic game of football. I'm so glad I've managed to get an early shift today. Uh, I've caught a cracking game tonight. Sending offs, uh, two good sides getting the goals, and like you say, enter end of times. That towards the end, the last ten minutes, like a basketball game. Obviously, Jara trying to get in that top ten, and obviously Yarm needing the win. Had a massive chance right at the end there. We just couldn't get the ball on target, but I've absolutely loved tonight. Uh, two new sides on the channel. It's been a fantastic night. Really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the vlog. Like I say, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as well.